Hey everybody, Lord Fuzzles here, and welcome to The Vanishing of Ethan Gardner. Uh, now this is a game that people have been kind of raving a bit about, uh, and it's supposed to be like a psychological horror where you play a detective trying to find uh, this kid named Ethan Carter. So, let's go ahead and get into it and figure out what this game is about. Oh yeah, overwriting. Yep, doing that. This game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. But what if I don't want my hand held? What if I want you to like walk with me on the beach holding hands? Why can't you give that to me, game? Ethan Carter, I didn't know. Oh, there's a narration. Cool. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you. Wait, priests? You why why would priests be involved here? You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Mm -hmm. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. So he's a demon child. Creek Valley yet, but already That's a cool effect. It's darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. Well, maybe to you should ring the doorbell. Then. I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay. Wow, this is freaking pretty. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> okay. So I guess I just I walk along, maybe? What is that? Oh, uh, hello. That's kind of trying to kill me right off the bat. That's not cool. Those, what is this? I don't get, what's going on? What is this? What am I doing? Like, I don't, what am I doing? Okay, can I kind of like touch it? My body, touch it, my body, touch it, my body. Okay, that, that, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So, are there like more of these things around or something? Just take a look around real quick. What's up with the... Oh! Okay. I was more worried about the dead grass than the live grass, but whatever. Okay. So since this thing... Okay, I don't. I just don't get what's going on. Oh yeah, it's a trap. I I can tell that, but fuck, whatever. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. Oh, so is it like revealing an image to me or something? Is this like a puzzle? Did I find more traps? Where are traps at? Find me more traps. Bring me your traps. Bring me your huddled traps. Okay. Not seeing any other traps. Right over here. Any traps up here? What about down here? How about overture? We got a trap on this tree. Any traps on the tree? No. Okay, well. Huh. What about over here? Could be a trap through there. Oh crap! Answer is yes. There could be a trap through there. Okay. Well. Oh! How did I miss that one? Okay. Oh god. Uh, come on. Do the thing. 
Oh my god, like a boss. I got all the traps. Suck my butt game. Okay, so wait, what about this though? Oh my god, these are... Those are skeletons. Okay, that's a little weird. <clears throat> Yes, I'll read this note. Interesting. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because then they would have searched the forest for treasures and not drink his sap. One cool fall night someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village the old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap when he returned to the village he found all the villagers bones the old man sat down and cried then he found more sap to drink okay then uh whatever Ethan, i told you you can't be here but grant i wrote something for you that's real nice thank you just leave it. I'll read it later. Oh, dang. Where did all these bottles come from? Oh, I think I get it. I think I kind of get it. I think I don't... I don't, I don't get it. What's this? Uh, Bayfield Community... Bed. What are they doing at the bottom? I can zoom in. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, I should have probably done... Did, did, give me that option earlier. Did I not see that? Was it being dumb? So, fire damage is hard at home. Blah, 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 blah. Gail Carter 58 was pronounced dead at the scene. Please broke out. Da, da, da. Oh, excuse me, made a fall asleep with a lit cigarette. Oh, dang. Oh. I search for the... Okay. So. Dang. So basically it looks like uh, Grandpappy uh, was smoking a cigarette and fell asleep with it in his hand and burnt down the family home, killing his wife on accident. And, uh, that's deep. So, yeah, I guess it does kind of support the theory I was going to come up with, was the bottles, I think, were the grandfather's. They were, like, whiskey bottles. And so the story of the old man is really about him going there every day to drink sap to... Damn, that's depressing. Well, it's not sap. Sap was a metaphor for whiskey. Rain Creek Valley. It seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. This looks like a very scary bridge. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet. And nowhere is really ordinary. I mean... Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. This place doesn't look ordinary at all, but... I'd worked dozens of cases. Hundreds. This would be my last one. That's foreboding. This would be my last one. Because I'm not making it out alive. Is that a train? Uh, this is a very beautiful game, though. Like, uh, the guys who made this game is a group called the Astronauts. I don't know what other games they've made, but I'm gonna definitely look into them after this uh, after this playthrough. Because I've heard rave reviews about this game, and so far I am enjoying it. Though the weird thing is, though, the whole weird like teleporting to the tree thing that was a little odd. So what about this inspect Blood. Animal? Human? Yeah? I mean... Accident or murder! Crankshaft. Uh-huh. What about it? Fresh scratches and recently used. Crank, 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 Ooh, what? Oh, what? Okay. Okay, see, this is... I don't get... What is this whole thing he's doing? Is he like a... Is he like... Like... Like Constantine, kind of, where he has like demon powers. He's really like part angel or some crap. 
So I don't get why it had me look over this way. Is there something like significant? Oh, what is that? Is it just like some trail in the? Oh, what's this? Hello. Cut ties. Untied tied. No blood. Yeah? No, there's no blood. Isn't that a good thing, though? Although, I think I may have found the blood. Holy crap, that's somebody's legs. That is somebody's legs. Rest of the corpse? Good question. <laughs> Solid question. Blood trail. Yeah, it's, it's that way. Victim was dragged away or crawled away. Yeah, that could be... I think I see the body. Hey buddy, you okay? You seem to have lost your legs. You do know the break a leg thing's a metaphor, right? Okay, blood from... Blood. Yeah, blood from the legs, I'm pretty sure. Fractured skull. Cause of death, blood loss, or head trauma. Oh yeah, I see it now. He's got like, he's got like his brain showing. Touch. Uh, I don't, what, what am I seeing? I don't see anything. Oh, not yet. Uh, corroded by time, disturbed by a third party. Oh. Okay, so when I did that vision thing earlier with the, with the whole crank handle, it said that the crank handle was near water. So let's head down to the water. God, this, I can't get over how like fantastic this game looks. I'm sure most people would probably like, oh, there's so many games that look better than this, but I don't know. This is, looks really good. It's got like all the grass looks like really nice. It doesn't move with me like some do, but I mean, I'm not gonna nitpick it. Oh, what the crap! <laughs> that was easy to find. I found the crank handle. Take that and let's go. So let's head back up. Uh, this way. Also, go see if there's any more clues to find. Because I, I have a feeling I have to solve this guy's murder, considering I am a detective. That is totes my jobs. I can't leave any case unsolved. So let's... See. Oh, what's this about? Here's a... Gasoline diesel fuel? Dropped. Carelessly, on purpose, in a rush. Hmm. Dried grass. No sun. Yeah, that would kind of have that word. Rectangular shape. Yeah. Rail car from the bridge. It could be, yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, so whenever you get clues like that, it points to what was or what what the clue thing he's saying. Okay, so I guess let's go let's go bring that thing back, I'm guessing. Cause I don't I don't know of any other reason why I would need the crank shit or the crank handle. But we're gonna find out. No 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 no. Fixed. Tap. Oh, multiple tapping. Holy crap, it took forever. Okay, let's get in this bad boy. What's this baby working with, a hemi? Okay, so, yeah, let's... Because I can't go forward because the bridge is out, so let's go backward. Yeah, these seats are nasty. Okay, let's bring it back to our... What was that sound? I think I went too far. Okay, so there's a weird sound again. There's another weird sound. Okay. Does it mean I can touch your body and like figure out cool psychic stuff? Not yet. What am I missing? What am I missing? Search. 
around. Maybe, huh, I don't know. The sign, the sign's a clue, do not enter. No, not a clue. Anything over here, maybe a clue? I'm so confused. Maybe if I go that way. Wait, what's this? Huh? What the fuck? Inspector what? Oh, rock, 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 divot. Fresh dirt. Uh-huh. Where's the rock at? Okay, let's find the rock. Okay, not that way. Oh, seems to be that way! Oh, whoops, I forgot to hold. Son of a bitch. One second. Let's do that again. Okay, rock, 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 rock. Okay, so it's next to a stump over there. Go find that stump, find that rock. And I'm assuming since I made a really weird noise and I brought that thing back over there, that I gotta put the rock back in that slot possibly. Ooh, ooh, or let me try this. Let me see. If I like can match up to the, the head wound, maybe. Nope, I can only touch him. Okay. So we're going with theory number one then. I'm gonna bring it back over to this and see if that's what's going on with it. So let's see. Okay, so we want the rock back. Okay, rock is fixed in its position. Uh, let's go back to the dead body, see what's going on with it. Yay, we solved it. I don't know how, but we solved it. What is going on now? The souls have left his body. Uh, what are they doing? Oh, what? Okay, so this is kind of neat. So old dude beat him in the head with a pipe. Oh, there's a kid. Could that be Ethan? So, is that Ethan? The kid I'm looking for? Let's see, what's... Actually, let's go this way first. Let's see. So this guy's on the train tracks. Not sure why he was on the train tracks. Oh, wow. So he was trying to kill Ethan. So the old dude's a hero? I mean... <laughs> I was thinking at first that he like was a fucking murderer when he just well with the first image of him bashing that dude in the head. Okay, so he grabbed the rock from over here. Let's go check out that rock. Chronology. Okay, what about that though? Uh I guess that's the tag. That's a weird symbol. Oh, okay, so chronological order of things. Okay, well, let's. Wait a minute. Okay, so wait a minute. So, let's see, what were the scenes? We have the scene where Ethan tied down, uh, assuming Ethan tied down. Dude on train tracks. Dude on train tracks with older dude. Old dude on top of. Guy with no legs. Guy with no legs dead. So I'm thinking Ethan tied down first. Then this dude picks up Rock. Which means that this one would be scene three. That one's probably scene four. Okay. This would be one. But no, one. Okay, so yeah, it'd be, kid gets tied down, dude grabs rock, dude hits guy with rock, guy, I guess, stumbles onto train tracks, gets leg cut off, scrambles this way, and then eventually gets all the way down here and gets hit in the head. Let's see if we did it. Am I right? 
Listen to me. We can destroy. So it is Ethan. Okay. I know how. You can't destroy Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Who is he? Why are you playing the pronoun game? Don't do that with me. Boom. So far, so good. Kale, honey, I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. The sleeper. All of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> oh damn! Don't call me an old man. I beat you in the head with a rock. Pretty good voice acting, though. I really did believe that he got his legs cut off there. Run, goddamn it! Go, get out of here! Why'd you let him get that far, though? Like you know him. Travis, close your eyes. Oh God! Like if you know you're gonna have to kill somebody, like find a neater way of doing it. Like, ugh. Like, even with that whole way the guy was going to kill Ethan, like, why not just shoot him or stab him? Why run him over with a train? It makes no sense. Let me kill- I want to kill this kid, but I'm going to do it the most complicated way possible. Okay, so it looks like that one's leading me somewhere else. But I'm kind of running long on this one, so we're going to go ahead and cut it here, and we will continue in the next one. We've solved our first murder case, though. Yeah, look at us being detectives. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you want to see anything else I've done, check out the annotations after the video to see some previous series I've done. They are all awesome, in my personal opinion, not tuning my own horn. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. But for now, peace.